our YouTube. Y'all see the do, y'all see the do, y'all know what's going on. So today we be doing 15 sneakers that I need in my sneaker collection. Um, some of these shoes are overrated. Some of these shoes that are old, but I still want. But so we gonna get into the first one, and the first one will be. The Jordan 1 Fearless. Now, this is not the men's edition. This is the women's edition with the kind of bronze kite color to them. I'll pop a picture on the side of the screen right there if y'all if y'all want to see it. Um, I really do want those. I like those more than the men's one. It's patent leather. It creases easily, and I feel like two or three wears out of those, you'll probably crease them up real, real bad, and then you probably want another pair. So I only really get shoes that I can crease easily because I do a lot of walking and stuff, like a lot of walking in school. And I feel like I'll crease them really, really easy. And I do like do like Jordan 1, so I will beat <laughs> some Jordan 1s like that to the ground. But shoe number two is the Rookie of the Year Jordan 1. It's, the, uh, it's like that light tan color, and I like the... Uh, what inspired Jordan to make that shoe? Um, it's real nice. It got it got some nice quotes. I might pop up some pictures of the size and y'all can read them. But that's the second shoe. Now the third shoe and the shoe that I will probably never ever ever get, and it's the Jordan One Travis Scott. Now those shoes are really really expensive. And I think they're going for like two thousand dollars, something close to that. Don't quote me on that, but I, it's going something close to that. That shoe. Is I feel like the best shoe that he have came out with yet, and I the forces aren't the um Air Force Ones or the forces that he came up with whatever you want to call them those aren't out yet and his those aren't out yet his sixes are okay and the um his low ones I will I will cop those if I can if I can't get the high ones the high ones but both of those I didn't put those on the list but both of those the high Jordan ones and the low Jordan ones those are two cops or whatever one I can get first I will cop but the Jordan ones the highs is the ones I really really want but they're so expensive now if somebody want to buy them for me be my guest I take them take them off your hands for y'all all right so my third shoe is the Jordan one gold toe Jordan one gold toe those shoes are so so fire to me and that's probably a shoe it's a few shoes that i say i will buy and never wear and just ice them sit them on ice never wear them but that's one of the shoes jordan one go toe go toe those shoes that i will sit on probably never lace them take um wear however they come put them in the um in a clear box let them sit never wear them and then my second shoe that I've been wanting since like, I want to say ninth grade, I saw my uh, a teacher had them on, and I could never find the name out of them. And then I finally found the name of is the Jordan One Top Three, the Jordan One Top Three, um, with the breads, with the breads, the rolls, whatever, whatever it is. I'll pop a picture up of these two. I'll pop a picture up of all these shoes so y'all can see them and the name. But yeah, Jordan Three, I mean Jordan One Top Three will be. In my shoe collection, I'm probably gonna get those real, real soon. Um, now, a shoe that I want and probably, probably will never find in my size because I have been looking for these for a while now. I've been wanting these, and I can find them in my size. It's just the price is never right. I don't want to pay as much as what they're selling for. I'm not a cheap person. It's just those. The price on those are really higher than what they really worth. And this, the shoe is called the um, UNC Jordan One. It is nice. It's high in price, but like I don't want to pay that for a shoe that it's not a lot. You can match with it. You gotta like go find a lot of stuff. So that's the shoe that I'm looking forward to copying probably this summer for as a summer shoe. Now those are all the Jordan ones I want to cop. That's my favorite uh, silhouette. But now moving on to the uh, sixes is my second uh, favorite silhouette. It's the uh, PSG, the Paris Saint Germain's or whatever it's called, and it's the um, Pop up a picture, whatever way I put it. Um, <laughs> pop up a picture somewhere. Um, this shoe is black, gray, and red. Um, this is a really nice shoe. I actually wanted the five that he came in where I popped those up too. I actually wanted the fives, and I actually that's a shoe that I want both. They actually have a friends and family. It's a white pair, but I'm not gonna pop that shoe up there. But that's ugly. That shoe is really ugly. And then my second Jordan 6 that I'm looking at, that I want, um, is the Jordan 6 Gatorade, the all green one. 
Um, I actually want both of them, but the green one is the one that I really, really like. Um, I got some, actually, I got a jacket that matches those. No, the jacket that I want that matches those, but the jacket like a hundred and something dollars. Probably be copping that soon, so I do want the Jordan 6 Gator H really, really soon. Alright, the um, third, the third uh, Jordan 6 is the um, Slam Dunks. Um, pop that picture up, it's all red and got like, um, like, uh, what'd you call this all do? Like, um, it details a story like all around the shoe. Um, I know if I ever get those, I don't think they'll come with the icy bottoms. This is an older shoe, so I'm pretty sure I had to get like the gel stuff to ice it out. But I'm pretty sure it'll come, the sole will probably be kind of yellowed or like that milky color. Um, all right, these are some off white shoes now. These two shoes that I have in this category of off white, they're not the ones and, and they're not any of the other ones, but these are the Chuck Taylor um, uh, Converse. I'll pop a picture up of them, pop a picture up of them. These are really hard. I actually want to wear these to my graduation in June. I feel like this would be a nice shoe. I've been talking about this shoe a lot. Um, I guess the shoe that I feel like the first, my first, my first off-white shoe will be is that shoe. But I don't know. I don't know yet. It's not expensive, but that's a shoe that I do want. Probably to wear to my graduation. Uh, and then the next shoe is the off-white Zoom Fly, the all-pink one. All pink edition ones is like the zoom flies, and only reason I say that is because I never ever ever had a pink all pink shoe in my sneaker collection, and I actually do want to um put a nice fit together fit together for that for uh, breast cancer awareness. Even though I probably not gonna have them as ours, is this Friday at my school. Uh, Someday this week our school we get to wear all pink, and every year I say I'm gonna get them, and I never do, and put a nice fit together. Okay. I'm right, moving into my Jordan 5s. It is three, three Jordan 5s that I will cop. These are shoes that I guarantee to have, and I'm saying the next year, year and a half. And these are the first one is the Jordan, the Jordan 5 um, Trophy Rooms. Um, pop a picture up. It's not the red ones. It's the um, I I say baby blue ones. I like those. I actually like the um, the sole on the bottom. It has the um. Like the basketball floor, those are like the best Jordan 5 that I have ever seen. And then the um, Wings Jordan 5, I'm gonna pop a picture up on these. I don't know too much about these, but I seen these a few weeks ago and I feel like they were really hard, so I had to put them in the list of shoes I want to cop. Um, then the last, the last shoe in Jordan 5s are the China, the low Chinese New Year 5s. These shoes I've been wanting for the longest, I'm gonna say since about eighth grade i've been wanting this shoe i was on um i was on you no was up watching i'm going to say i can't remember who i was watching but the he had them on and they were so fire they were they were so fire and i want i've been wanting those since and i can never like i go past them like uh like, I had opportunities to get them. Like, people like, oh, you want these so bad? Why you just gonna get them? I want them, but I, that's a shootout I would have in my collection and just sit. It would never get anywhere. I love those shoes. Those shoes, when I see those shoes, are fire. I might pop pictures up all around the screen of those. Those shoes are fire. Um... All right, now these are shoes. Now this, now these shoes is not one particular one. It is called the uh, Nike React Elements. Element. 87 uh, now I'm popping different colorways up all of these all of these shoes are really really comfortable only I my granddad let me wear a pair here comfortable shoe I ever put my foot in so I do want to get a whole bunch of different colors of these and on Nike.com they do allow you to customize them so I might get some customized ones too and then the next shoe this shoe is like this shoe is really really expensive and I don't know why because I was this was last year, 2018, when these came out. And this is the P PG-1 Black History Month. Pop up the picture right here. These are really, really fire. But they're expensive. And that's a, that's another shoe that I will never wear. Just sit in my collection. This feet, Paul George is my favorite player, favorite player. And I will probably never, ever wear that shoe. But I do want some normal P PGs just to hoop in. Um, now, my second shoe is the Yeezy 700. 700 v2 in the all black colorway i don't have all black shoes i actually want to get a pair of 
of all all white shoes and I want to get a pair of all black shoes. Depending, I don't know if I want to get uh, a pair of all white vans and all black pair or I want to do something else. But those um, E700 V2, I will be copying. I want the uh, statics and I do and I do want to get, excuse me, I do want to get the um, belugas, I think that's what they call. I want to get those too. This one like two or three easy that I really want. And that's it out of Yeezy. I only put one Yeezy on my list. And this shoe, um, this shoe was not expensive. These, neither one of these shoes. It's a, it's a Puma shoe. It's the MCM Puma. And it's the brown pair and a white pair. I do, I rather, I want to get the brown pair first. I really like those. I've been talking about those for a minute too. Now it is a, um, the white pair. They are more expensive than a brown pair, but it is also a, um, red red blue and white pair pop a pinch i popped all three of them up it's the red white, and blue pair those are really really hard to find like sometimes they don't even have them in big sizes from time to time but if you want fight club you can find probably find them in your slot in your size but i don't know i don't know if i'm gonna cop those and then this shoe uh revenge storms um uh, my favorite youtuber um I'm break, unbreakable. Um, Pretty boy Fredo. He um he actually did recently did a video and he picked up a all green pair had the straps on. But I don't really like the ones with the straps. But I like the um Revenge Storms Bolt White. I think I'm saying it right. Bolt White is all white with the reflective um reflective um lightning bolt on the side. Those are really fire. I might be picking those up really. Those are those are not spent like two hundred two twenty two hundred something like that. I ain't picking those up really really soon. As I do need an all white pair of shoes soon. Um but that will be the end of the video. Um like, comment, and subscribe, follow my Instagram. And that's this is not the end of the video. I'm gonna add, show some clips of our homecoming that was yesterday. Alright y'all, this is after the video and I'm just gonna throw some extra clips in of our homecoming yesterday. I don't have any real videos. I just got some pictures of the drip from yesterday. So just make sure I like, comment, and subscribe. And stay wavy, y'all.